Reference City. Hey guys, this is my review for episode 3 of Supernatural Season 13, and wow, this episode both amazed me, excited me, and pissed me off all in one go. Good job. Mainly what happens is we got to see Missouri. It's really interesting considering I was just about to review Home, the episode in which she was introduced, the only episode she has been in since season one. That was season one, episode nine. Yes, episode nine. And we got reintroduced to her. She all of a sudden just calls him up after his psychic has been killed by a wraith. And I was like, holy shit, it's, it's Missouri. And then six minutes later, she's dead. Killed by the same wraith. Yet she said she knew that this was going to happen. And I don't know why she didn't have Dean just wait and kill the thing as he walks in the door. I don't care. Like I said, this episode is filled with some really cool uh, callbacks. Missouri, there's callbacks to whole, the whole idea of how Dean and Sam dealt with uh, Sam's addiction with demon blood. And that's reflecting on how da Dean and Sam are viewing uh, Jack. We had Jody come back. Jody disappeared in this episode. And yeah, there was a lot of callbacks. But at the same time, they had these really cool premises and they fucking wasted them almost. A wraith that goes after psychics. Ooh, what's the thing for that? What's is he getting powers? Is what's the motive behind it? Oh, it's uh, just uh, gives me uh, makes me clearer. It's good. That's the best, really. Which sucks too is how the wraith is revealed at the beginning of the episode with a psychic doing her whole hand thing. That was super creepy. That was actually really good. Really good effects. And they actually, the whole kind of uh, psychic use with the young, the granddaughter, her kind of having a bit of a, a rewind city was actually cool. And admittedly, uh, admittedly when she saw Jody, her father, and then Dean die, I was like, I, right when her father dies, I was like, oh, this is a dream. But still, this episode had both good things and bad things. It actually had a really great a moment between Dean, uh, sorry, Sam and Jack talking about how Jack believes that the only way things work is if he goes evil and that's what he's meant to be because he can't do anything when he's good and Sam talks about basically he dances around this whole idea of what happened to him and how family is what brings him back and then when he and Dean had the argument about the demon blood that was really good so uh, he, there was these really cool very intimate dark moments with the brothers and with Jack which again I'm actually liking this concept I know what's gonna happen is eventually Jack's gonna run away because he can't Dean's just like ah oh, fucking hate you oh, you're gonna kill people and then that's gonna become a quasi thing with the whole Texas Southern Prince of Hell guy but what they did do in this episode is they revealed, well, they finally revealed what Jared had revealed so long, <laughs> so a few months ago at a, that con. Castiel wakes up in a black room because Cass, or Dean blames Jack for Cass's death because Jack influenced him when he was in the womb. And yeah, that's it. He just wakes up in a black room. So again, this episode had some really great moments, some cool, uh, some cool bringbacks of characters, some really cool shoutouts to things of the past, season two. Like hell, when when uh, Sam talked about Dad told you to saying this to Dean, you told he told you to kill me if I went bad. That was great, but this whole Wraith thing was really wasted. Missouri was wasted. She just died just so she could give her granddaughter of flash nightmare that was it that was it are you kidding me what a complete waste of a character and then a really a big waste of a villain because this could have been i don't know he was obviously gonna die in this episode but it was been interesting to see him more than just a guy who's like oh yeah feels good in the end i'm gonna give this episode a three out of seven just basically because of fucking wasted potential holy shit you dropped the ball Again, this episode had some good moments. It had some really good uh, intimate, dark moments with the brothers and Jack. And it has a little bit more emotionality than I expected. But just because of those two huge things, just those two huge things, that drops this episode a little bit. But interested to see now that as Cass is 
black back and some black bloom or whatever it is. Anyways, guys, that's all for me. I hope you enjoyed this review. I'll see you guys for the next one.